So, okay, so this PC here, it's a HP PC and uh, HP 800G1, it's a fourth generation HP PC and uh, the problem in this PC is it is uh, not powering on and when I power it up it is showing up uh, the red light, four red light with the beeps and uh, this problem is mainly because of the short on the board that is the reason why power supply is not powering up so uh, mostly the short in the motherboard comes in the VRM section and uh, so far I have diagnosed it already so the problem is with the VRM rail when we put the meter in the diode mode it will beep when the pro processor is in the socket it will beep okay uh, because uh, it will beep on the low resistance like 30 ohm and all that therefore uh, we will put it in the resistance mode and then and then we will figure out what could be the problem okay and uh, if the resistance is below 1 or 2 ohms it means there is actually a short because the processor's lowest resistance is around 9 to 30 ohms so if it's below then there is a short and we can also remove the processor since we don't need to uh, you know put it's already a dirty PC and the dirt can go on the uh, socket so that's why I'm not removing the pro processor so we will start from this first MOSFET and not short not short not short since these three are parallel registers so we don't need to check this one because this is parallel okay and eventually these three are, uh, uh, MOSFETs are parallel therefore if one of these is short it means any um, any one of these three is shorted so uh, si since I already diagnosed it and this one is showing short same goes for this one and this one all three are showing short it means one of these is shorted so there's a way to put a voltage uh, voltage injection technique uh, which we can use for identifying the shorted MOSFET but there's another way if you just visually inspect the area the shorted MOSFET is usually uh, different in color also there is a glue coming out of it underneath so through that visual inspe inspection you can figure it out which is the shorted MOSFET so this MOSFET here looks more darker in color and it is uh, the glue underneath it is uh, already you know uh, melted so it seems like this MOSFET has undergone an excessive heat uh, therefore we will remove this MOSFET and then we will check if the short is gone okay so we'll take our heat gun up a little bit okay here we go. removed it put it here this moth fit
by visually inspecting this uh, area I removed it so uh, there's a chance that this might not be the shorted one <laughs> it can happen that other one of those other two might be shorted but so let's measure it before checking Entering diode mode here's for the better visual look and uh, let's see yeah 0.6 ohms okay 0 0.2 ohms it means this is shorted from its source and drain it is shorted okay so and the gate is also shorted it's shorted from all three sides it's mean the MOSFET is shorted then the PC should not show the beep now let's plug in the PC we will change this MOSFET later but first we will check if there is another short on the motherboard if there is no short then the PC will simply power on and the processor will heat up and there will be no beeps on the board yeah the RAM is missing they, uh, it might beep for the RAM but that red light will not uh, glow up it will only beep on the RAM okay so we will plug in the power and we power it on okay now so we can see the oh great there's no red beep it means that's the only problem here okay so it is fixed oh it's heating up so it means we just have to replace this MOSFET with the new one the CPU will work without without this MOSFET but it will increase the load on these other two MOSFETs so if you don't put this MOSFET here if you don't replace this MOSFET then the problem could rise regarding uh, like uh, in the future in a very you know after a few days of use one of these MOSFET can also get shorted or blow up because the load is not divided the whole load will be only on these two uh, parallel uh, MOSFETs so we will replace this MOSFET here and our problem is already fixed so we find a similar rating MOSFET on this old uh, Dell motherboard so we will remove this MOSFET here okay so okay okay so this is the MOSFET that I just removed from this Dell motherboard I found it in the scrap um this this is a part here which I removed it. This one. Okay. This has the similar rating. This is not exactly the same number MOSFET, but it has the same twenty volt, thirty volt and amperes rating. Okay. So you don't actually need a same MOSFET number but you can replace it with uh, any other similar specifications MOSFET okay so here it is we will first align it with the positive negative side okay and we will heat it up
Okay, so we are done. We just put the we just replaced that mouth pad. And while heating up this area we must avoid this capacitor. And uh, because it can blow up and it can injure people. You know? So we have to be careful with this capacitor. Your heat gun should not uh, be focused somewhere around its body okay so let's, let's test it now we are done thanks for watching